The next steps of this course is how to complete a full booking assessment. A full booking assessment is usually done at 10 weeks gestation and it's usually done by an NHS professional. The workflow tab is located at the top of our screen. We have a series of workflows ranging from antenatal all the way through to postnatal. Please take note that the intrapartum is still completed on paper. In order to locate the full booking assessment, we need to go to antenatal booking and select full booking assessment. By selecting T and enter on our keyboard, it will bring through today's date and time, and then we can select next. Anything in bold is a mandatory question and it must be completed. In this particular example, the full booking assessment is going to be completed within the community. So I'm going to select Communi Community Maternity Clinic. The original referral was a self-referral and it will pull through your name. On the left hand side is a series of pages. If I select next, it will take me on to the next page. Equally though, if you wanted to go directly to a section, you could click on that page and it will take you to the page that you want to go to. So if I go back to administration, and I'm just going to point out a few key important information throughout this workflow. So if I select maternal examination, if I enter in a height and weight and select enter, the system will automatically work out the body mass index. If I go onto the next page, and if I wanted to add a vital sign such as temperature, I can input it in there. If I wanted to add an allergy, I could go to medications and allergies. select new allergies identified. I can then select something from the list. If it's not on the list, you can type in because it is dictated by a H index. If I select enter, I can add the severity. And you can see that it's automatically put the allergy on our banner bar. If I hover over it, it will also tell us the name of the allergy and the reaction. If I select comments and discussion, the top box is for patient documentation. So I'll remind you here, these comments will be printed on documents. If you would like to add an internal comment, you should enter it in this box here. And again, it will remind you comments recorded here will not be included in documentation. I am going to add a confidential comment. I'm going to click on the light bulb and select confidential. Click on the light bulb again and select link to alerts. Remove the comment and replace with a full stop and select OK. If we now look at the top right hand corner of our screen, there is a red envelope. If I click on that and enter my usual Medway password and select confirm, it will reveal the confidential comment. 
If you'd like to add a plan, you can select plans and referrals by select M and select midwife review. In this particular example, the blood pressure is high. Please check weekly. You can assign it a priority and also I'm going to enter that it recurs every one week. Please leave the assigned to field blank as a member of staff might leave the organisation and that task would then not be picked up. Finally, I'm going to press complete workflow. You'll see there's a series of mandatory questions that have not been completed. So if I click on one of those mandatory questions, and fill in the relevant information. When I go back to complete workflow, you can see that that question has been removed from the list. There are three buttons that you must press at the end of each workflow, which include complete, print and save, By pressing print and save, it will save a copy to the journal, but if you'd like to print it off, you can click these icons as well. And I'm going to select finish. You can see that the plan is on the home page. And also, if I go to discussion, we can see the comment that I entered in the workflow. And if I go to journal, we can see the responses from the assessment.